Okay, welcome back YouTube. As you can see, standing in front of my car again. <laughs> so, uh, I got another car project. Uh, you know, things keep breaking on it, so I keep fixing them. So, anyhow, stay tuned for another good, hopefully useful video. Okay, so, this is a video about my radio quit working. Okay, so, let's see. As you can see, I put the key in, turn it on, and no radio. Doesn't work. Scroll through the menus here, nothing. For audio, just says a blank. Telephone, blank, you know? Nothing. No radio. So let's dig into this and see what's up. Okay, so here's the main, here's the car. Here's the main fuse panel here. To get into it, you gotta uncover a little bit. All right. So, and uh, as you can see, there's like no label, nothing. Nothing to tell you what fuse is what. So, through the magic of YouTube, I found out that this 20 amp fuse right back here is the main radio right behind this relay. That's the main radio fuse, and I removed it and confirmed that that fuse is good. So, it should be getting power to the radio. So, let's dig deeper. Okay, so I learned that there is a, there's a fuse on the back of this. It's a 10 amp fuse. The fuse under the hood is a 20 amp fuse. So I think if it's the only thing feeding this radio, which has a 10 amp fuse, then obviously this fuse is always going to blow first. So apparently we've got to rip all this apart uh, to check it. So let's check it. Okay, so first thing you got to do is remove this. Uh, and surprisingly enough, it's just clipped in there it's just pressed in there so what I did they say you can pop these rubber things off and put a tool in there to help you pry but for me I just kind of there's a there's a slot right here because it, it fits against there so I just put a little screwdriver down in that slot just kind of pry a little bit and then pull with my fingers you see kind of popped out do the same thing over here it pops right out no problem Okay, and then pull it out, and I don't want to disconnect any wires or anything, so just kind of lay it up here out of my way. All right, because we're after the radio down here. Let's see. Okay, next thing you got to do to get the radio out is uh, remove these two Torx. It's a T, uh, T20 Torx. Pull, there's one here and one here. Let me get the rest of this one out. Pull those two screws out and then I don't know why but there's like a plastic clip here that you have to lift up on let me see if I can get you a little closer little clip and you can see when you pull up on it what it looks like see that one on each side There it is, you can see it. See? Make sure they're pulled up all the way. I don't know why. It's kind of kind of a weird looking clip thing, but whatever. Pull them up all the way. And then uh, once you have them pulled up all the way, you can just pull out. It's kind of weird. It up and out and up and out or whatever. You'll just feel just kind of pulls like this and then lifts up and then comes out a little more and then lifts up just like that. And there's your radio out. That's a little rubber thing that's falling apart. Okay, that's the radio out. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to try to shove because if I can, it'll make it a lot easier for somebody trying to remove this connector. This connector on the back here. See that connector, that main connector there? I'm trying to hold the light with my leg. Well, underneath it, there's a plastic clip. You kind of got to 
pull it out. Hang on, maybe I can get a better angle here. Hang on a second. Okay. See that? Plastic clip down there. You gotta like lift up on this handle. It's like a little handle here. As you lift up on it, see that? It pulls the connector out. By lifting up on that handle, see, it pulled the connector out. Lift up and it pulls it out. Okay, you got that? Now, you look on the back of the radio and there it is. A little 10 amp fuse right there. You just pull that sucker out and let's test it. Okay, well I'll be darned. It definitely, it was a bad fuse. So here we got a new 10 amp fuse. We'll see if a new fuse fixes the problem. I mean, sometimes a blown out fuse isn't the only problem. So we're just going to plug it in right there, see. Plug the new fuse in right there. I'll plug, I'll plug this in and push it back in and then we'll check back. Okay, so it was just hard to get that connector plugged in the back while holding the camera and the light and everything. So, so you can see it has these like pins on the sides. They, they kind of line into a rail and it just kind of tips down in there like that. It's kind of weird, but you just kind of feel it out, push it right in, push it back in like that. And then these two clips, push down on those, put the two bolts in with our T20. Oh, not like that, I'll be losing them. Put the two bolts in like so. You know, I probably should turn it on and see if it works before I put the bolts back in. That's what a smart person would do. There's one bolt. I already got one in, might as well put the other one in, then we'll try it. Then we'll give it a shot, see if it works. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure what all you can see here. Can you see the bolt I'm putting in? Okay, there's the bolts. So let's just I'll turn a key on and see what happens, right? Ha ha ha! Success! I hear the radio. There it is. Impartial fact based journalism. They're making too much money by keeping patients. Connected to my phone, everything works good. Cool. So that was weird. Just blew a fuse, huh? Okay, let me get it put back together and then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, well there you have it. Fellow Mercedes owners out there, you have a very easy fix for uh, if your radio quits working. Uh, no, no power, nothing. You can just have a blank radio. That's probably what's wrong with it. A very easy fix. So, hope everyone liked this video I hope some people got some useful easy information out of it and a way to fix your stereo uh, very easily for literally just a, a few dollars here's the fuses I bought from advanced auto parts it was five dollars for like five fuses and uh, there you go we're good to go uh, so anyhow thanks for watching again hi again thanks for watching um, don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe. The subscribe, subscribe button's a big thing, I guess, with YouTube. So don't forget to just click on that subscribe button if you got anything useful out of this video or if you enjoyed it anyway. I'd appreciate it. Anyhow, thanks. Have a great day, and stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>